Good stage, you're gonna love her. Please give it up for Kimberly! <laughs> coffee and my licorice. <laughs> so back in 2020, I was beaten so badly by a random stranger that I ended up in a coma. Don't worry, that's not the funny part. <laughs> so once I came out of the coma, I looked in the mirror for the first time. Have you ever scared yourself when you looked in the mirror? You know, maybe after a night of heavy drinking? or ugly crying, or turning 50. <laughs> well, I looked in the mirror and I saw a face that was swollen and scarred and disfigured. And I remember feeling compassion for the person looking back at me in the mirror, but mostly because of the one inch of gray roots right spreading out <laughs> the top of my head. I mean, come on, how long was I out for? <laughs> Women should have responsibility partners. If ever you're unconscious in a hospital, there should be someone responsible for doing a mani-pedi, <laughs> waxing your eyebrows, maybe shaving your armpits. <laughs> At least touch up your gray roots, right? So the hospital psychiatrist says he's going to send in his intern to interview me. No problem, I'm all about helping out new doctors. <laughs> the ugly ones, <laughs> hot psychiatrists should not be allowed to practice in hospitals. <laughs> Patients are already at an aesthetic disadvantage, right? <laughs> Frumpy hospital gown, perpetual bedhead, maybe wearing an adult diaper, <laughs> or having a head full of gray roots like me. But no problem, I mean the appearance was not the most embarrassing part of the encounter. So he sits across from me and starts asking me questions about my mental health, if I had any homicidal thoughts or suicidal ideations. Well, I do now. <laughs> but then it gets worse. Then he asked me a question that I've been dodging the answer to for years. How many times have you been married? So do we have any fans of Julia Roberts in the audience? <laughs> you know, any lackluster response about that is how most women in our 50s feel. You know, because imagine how the reaction to that would be 30 years ago when Pretty Woman was released. <clears throat> so nowadays, we used to relish the sexist cat calls, you know, we got when we were younger. Now we not so secretly resent comments like, can I help you, ma'am? <laughs> or, uh, what's your natural hair color? <laughs> or, you must have been really pretty in high school. <laughs> so, Julia Roberts and Richard Gere played alongside each other in Pretty Woman, and then later in Runaway Bride. Now, if you compare the outcomes of those two movies, it would appear that you have better prospects as a sex worker. <laughs> So the first time I was married, I was 20 years old. Did I want to get married at 20 years old? Well, I did want to have sex. <laughs> and when you're raised in a fundamentalist religion, hold the fun, there's a lot of no-no's when it comes to sex. First of all, you can't have any. <laughs> at least not until your wedding night. Then you have to have a chaperone, and you're not even allowed to masturbate but I think that so women won't be disappointed in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> so the second time I was married, I was 26 years old. Did I want to get married a second time? Well, I didn't want to die at Armageddon. My hold the fun religion excommunicated me after I left the first one. And being excommunicated is kind of like being a silent fart on a crowded elevator. <laughs> Everyone knows you're there, but they're pretending you don't exist. <laughs> so what does an excommunicated fornicator do for you? Get out of <laughs> They get married again. But by this time I discovered masturbation, so my expectations were a little higher. <laughs> so the third time I got married, I was 32 years old. So if I asked everyone in the audience what the definition of insanity is, you'd say, 
doing, the, doing same the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So the fourth time I got here, <laughs> I was 46 years old. And getting married in middle age is kind of like being on a plane that's making its descent. All you hope for is a smooth ride that doesn't end in a crash landing. So Julia Roberts' character on Runaway Bride and I have a lot in common. We're both raised in small towns where everybody knows your business. We both became the punchline of family jokes. And we both saved the best for last. So Julia Roberts' fifth attempt at the altar was to none other than Richard Gere. The dreams that all rom-coms are made of, right? So the fifth time I got married, <laughs> just kidding, who would get married five times? <laughs> <laughs>